Okay, so not that around there. But I've been saved um, about a year now. And how'd that happen? What made that happen? Um, funny story. Actually, I was going through a period of my life where it was just like, you know, everything was not the way it was supposed to be. And um, my friend, I was a I was a bartender, and he was a bouncer. He had just gotten saved. And he started ministering to me, and it was beautiful, you know. I just thought, my God, I, I saw, like, that light around them just that I didn't see before. And I'm like, I want what you have. Seriously. Where were you bartending? I was bartending at Club Love. Where's that? Club Love is at, is on McDougal. Okay. And 8th. Okay. Right on the corner of McDougal and 8th. Yeah, How long so were you doing that? I was bartending for about a year and Were you change. drinking when you were bartending? I wasn't. Okay. I would I would be all out of it if I did. Right. No. So like, <laughs> but the bartending job brought you to being saved. Yeah. And that is cool because you know you know they always say that like, um I don't know I liquor is like they always called liquor spirits. Yeah. And for some weird reason some I don't know but like spirits our spirits and yeah. I and as much as alcohol has so many stories about it and I don't push alcohol or say good or bad or whatever everybody yeah, yeah. to each his own I just feel certain people the spirits are connected through I don't know I feel like people that drink sometimes are spiritual and it's like some kind of weird thing I don't even know how to articulate it but it's interesting to me that you got saved in a bar <laughs> Um, <laughs> that really is you the know, ultimate irony. It's like the bar brought thought. you to church, you know? Yeah, yeah. There's got to be some spirit to that. There's, so. there there's a connection. There's so sure is. God sure bless are. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Why? There, you, you said it perfectly, Rue. There's wow. a, you know, what well are you going to do? I mean, <laughs> I'll mention that. You are adorable. Can Thank you sing you. something? Would you sing a cappella? Um, sure. All right. Sure, I, I can do that. You, you just look like you. Um, I this was actually the first song I wrote, like completely on my own. Uh, my boyfriend actually wrote the music. I wish okay. he was here. He was supposed to be well, here. Well, you'll have to come back with him. Yeah, I will. I'll totally come like back to. with him. That would be great. I would love to. Okay. Um, so we decided to call the song Fifty Fifty because he wrote the music and I wrote the lyrics. Um, but I think I'll just call it "It's You." Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm where I was before Standing right outside your door Looking for the words to say Before I walk away What am I gonna do? I feel like such a fool Saving all my Sundays for that faithful day with you and I don't know why I get tongue twisted and broken up inside it's you I guess you knew why somehow my heart skips a beat or two when I look at you. Okay. <laughs> Aww, that is beautiful. Thank you. So, Thank um, you. do you have a MySpace or websites or where you're? I don't. Okay. I don't. Not yet, but as soon as I get all that up and running, I will come back. That sounds Thank great. You. Now that? we do a little <laughs> little thing. I, it, choose it, baby. If you want to say this or not. We have a little segment called Skeletons, and it's about skeletons in the closet. Okay. And if you'd like to share a skeleton from your closet, pre-save days, we'd like to hear. Skeleton from my closet. Yeah. Hmm. Give me a little help here, Jen. What? <laughs> what am I gonna get into? Uh, you know, <laughs> she said you had a lot of them. <gasps> oh, 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 did you really? I, did. <laughs> <laughs> I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> I was just referring to what you wanted to talk about today. But you already said that, so that was yeah. a skeleton. That was now, a skeleton. That was that just that true. was yeah. There you go. So she kind of got true. off the hook. It but is it, true. this is your chance if you have anything else that you want to say. Any shout outs? Any say any plugs? Any um, any other things you want to say about your purpose? Not purpose, but like you know. I hear you. Yeah. 
Um, I would just like to, to well, shout out, shout out. I would like to give a shout out to my friends at Seek Ministries. Aww. You guys are amazing, and you've brought me so far. I love you, Aaron and Johanna and Star. Um, I would just love to tell the world that Jesus loves you. Aww. He does. God loves you, and seek him. All you have to do is call out, and he'll come. He'll come now running wait, to you. Uh, uh, not to be... Um the anti anything. I mean, <laughs> I'm in go. love with crucifixes. They are he. Jesus is one cute man. I have to say, wasn't he adorable? <laughs> he was gorgeous. Any man ever on the planet, gorgeous. if he's for real. Okay. But I do. I'm, I don't believe in organized religion personally. Okay. I believe in every religion. I, I hear believe you. that they all say basically the same thing. But I, I don't you. believe that. You know, one place God would say this place is right, but this place is wrong. No. You fast today. But they don't. Ha yeah. ha. You no, know, no, you no, celebrate no. this New Year, but they don't. I don't believe in that. But I believe in spirituality, yeah. like up the frickin' wazoo. I believe that the path is there. I believe in you know the what, powers Ru? that be more than anything. And I believe to each his own. A hundred million percent. Absolutely. But I just wonder, like, you know, I've heard in, in certain people say that Jesus was like ten different people. And then, like, people just wrote the story. You know, like... I hear that. You know, okay. Like, I, I mean, I believe everybody has their own way to express it. Exactly. I think or it's acts. a beautiful world. I just wish I that, that it could all be like one freaking patchwork quilt. It would be awesome. You know? It would be amazing. So, I mean, you know, yeah. Praise the Lord and all that, and Jesus saves. But, like, I think, like, <laughs> other things save, too, you know? Okay. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of it at all. Heck, I'm not an expert on but it But I either. think if I'm it not. helps any... <laughs> I'm an expert. No, All right, tell us. <laughs> no, really? You know, I just hear it, John. I just, like, it just wonders me, you know? Like, I mean, I think there's a lot of paths, and we all can find the same relief or whatever. And, and I mean, there is a light in your eye. You you twinkle. Yeah. You're oh, adorable. Oh, baby, thank you. You really do. So are you, You mama. know, you are just adorable. <laughs> You really are, and Thank I'm happy you. for you because you're not the I first person well. that I've met that has had that Encounter. experience. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I, I think I, I've had, you know, I think I know people that have had it differently as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what it I, is. I I feel it's more about having a relationship with your creator than about the religion itself. Religion is man-made, but that relationship that you can have exactly. directly with yeah. God, like dial direct. You don't need anybody else. Exactly. You do not need anybody like else to it. get up there. You know I what like I mean? It. Just call. I, like it. I agree. Absolutely. I think that and I think everybody that's a great way to end tune. this show today. Yeah. And one month away from your birthday. <laughs> Happy you birthday go. to me. Happy birthday. Big day. Thank you, Arisma Radio. You are the best. And uh, Jen, thank you so much. Thank you, yeah. Miss Adorable thank Saved you. One. You're welcome. I, thank I you. Mean, thank you, Ruth, for having me. Oh, please. And I'm looking forward for you coming back with the boy. Boyfriend, 50 shall. 50. All right. For sure. All right. Thank you. We had a great time. Hope you did too. See you next Bye. time. Bye.